so we were reading this chapter class 9 the beggar we have come to know that now lashkop who was introduced to sarj house to chop some wood but what happened he was not at all willing to do this but finally even sarji thought that it was not wise on his part that he has given this you can say weak man this you can say job of which demanded hard work that he has to chop wood from the uh, from the wood shelter and even olga she was also not happy with this man to be brought at home because he was not at all you can say willing to do this kind of work okay so now next onwards let us come here on this part so so we have you know, in this you can say in this part of the chapter or in this page what we have read we have read that when sarji he thought that it was not you can say right on his part to give this man a duty to chop wood because it demanded hard work but still sarji was giving half a ruble or some money to this you can say wave who is always coming to his house at the start of every month to chop some wood for him right and sometimes he was also given a you can say an old pair of trousers from here we have to start okay so i am reading this first paragraph this last line yes every time he received from 20 to 40 kopecks and once even a pair of old trousers were sent out to him so finally what happened that what happened that even 20 to 40 kopecks every time he is getting and he has also you can say he has also given those old pair of trousers what's all after how many days you have entered the class what happened everything is fine you're not so regular kindly be regular now when sarji moved into another house he hired him to help in the packing and hauling hauling means transferring what is the meaning of hauling hauling means transferring hauling means transferring so now what happened that now now sarji is going to shift to a new house so he needs some extra men in order to transfer the things so what he has done he also hired sarji so that he could help in packing of the furniture and could also help in transferring the furniture to the wagons or uh, and ultimately it is to be transferred to the new house this time the wave was sober gloomy and silent there was a change in behavior of this man he was wave means this beggar okay this you can say who a man okay he sober sober mean not showing much you can say happiness on his face gloomy also very sad and silent he was not at all talking to anybody something was going on in his mind but what he hardly touched the furniture and walked behind the wagons hanging his head not even making a pretense pretense means showy behavior what is the meaning of pretense pretense means showy behavior okay so he was just following the wagons he was just moving behind the wagons without you can say showing any kind of you can say interest in this activity and he was just moving behind the wag wagons his head hanging down and he was also not trying to pretend that he is doing work it means that he is not bothered whether he would be given money or not so and he was also not showing this kind of you can say showing this kind of attitude that he is busy he only shivered in the cold and became embarrassed when the carters jeered at him jeered means to make fun of him to mock at jeered means mock at mock at or to make fun of to make fun of so at that moment what happened even the other persons who are involved in this process okay they were he was shivering with cold means he has turned out to be too weak 
but he has also become embarrassed he was having that feeling of embarrassment as the other carters carters means the person who were hired in order to transfer furniture so they were making fun of him they were mocking at him for his idleness what they were making fun of his idleness that he is so free that he is also not ready to do any kind of work his feebleness what is feeble means weakness and his tattered fancy coat and his tattered means we, the coat he was wearing it was in very you can say poor condition worn out in pieces it was but it was a fancy overcoat means it was not his own somebody else has given it to him as an old piece of wearing after the moving was over sarji sent for him so when this you can say move, moving means when this process of movement of furniture to his new house was over sarji called him well i am happy that my words have taken effect handing him a ruble here's for your pains pains means here's for your pains now sarji what he did he said i'm really happy that my words have really taken effect that you have actually listened to my words he said this is your one ruble take it for the pains you take for the pains you take means for the hard work you did i see you are sober and who have no objections to work what is your name he said but now i have come to know that you are really willing to work and you don't have any problem with work but because earlier he thought that he was not ready to do any kind of work so he said now see how much long you can say for how many months he was knowing him but still he has not bothered to ask his name so now when he thought about that person and he thought that he is of course you can say willing to do work then he thought that i should ask his name he said but by the way what is your name now the beggar said lashkov lashkov is my name well lashkov i can now offer you some other cleaner employment can you write so he said now i think that i should provide you some other work okay some cleaner work cleaner work means some better job in which you have to do the work of reading and writing so now but he said but tell me what is your uh, sorry can you read and write now can you read and write he said yes i can then take this letter to a friend of mine tomorrow and you will be given some copying to do so what he said he said now i am giving you this you can say letter of recommendation take it to one of my friend tomorrow i am giving you the address you just go there okay he will give you some copying work to do and but he has given him a piece of advice also he said work hard don't drink and remember what i said to you goodbye so he said just go there work hard but also remember what i have told you don't drink and don't spoil my name and tomorrow reach at proper time goodbye so now till here the contact between sarji and lashkov has been broken <coughs> okay so sarji was busy in his daily work and lashkov has also gone to his friend now please at having put a man on the right path sarji tapped lashkov kindly on the shoulder and even gave him his hand at parting so now sarji he was what kind of feeling he was having he was just thinking of himself that he has done of course a good job that he has helped a man to come out of this poor situation he thought that finally he has done a good deed to save somebody's life finally he patted means in this manner he tapped on lashkov's you can say shoulder and shook hand with him when they were separating Lashkov took the letter, and from that day forth, came no more to the yard for work. So Lashkov took the letter, and from that day, he was not coming to the yard to chop wood. Even Sarji was thinking that he is, of course, busy in his job. But see the next, you can say, change and twist in the story. See, two years went by. So in this manner, how much time has been uh, passed? Two months has been passed. then one evening as sergey was standing at the ticket window of a theater paying for his seat 
He noticed a little man beside him with the coat collar of curly fur and a worn seal skin cap. Coat he was what he was wearing collar of curly fur. Okay, special collar in order to put his neck uh, cozy and seal skin cap, which is not you can say so seal skin cap means which is not you can say an ordinary cap, something of special type to be worn by gentlemen. So one day, Sirji, he was standing at the ticket window of the theater. He was purchasing a ticket for the show, and there he saw a little man beside him with a coat collar of curly fur, and he was wearing a seal skin cap. Who this man be? What do you think? Just raise up your hands. Who this man be? Yes. Yes. Who this man be? Man, maybe Lashkov. Why Lashkov? Why Lashkov? Why you think that it can be Lashkov? Ma'am, because maybe he understood the value of work, and uh, after that he. Uh... Okay, so let us see. Okay, of course it was Lashkov. He was surprised to see Lashkov. See, now. This little individual timidly asked the ticket seller for a seat in the gallery and paid for it in copper coins. So this little individual, with this middle height man or this middle little, so this little man, he asked for a special seat in the gallery and he paid for in copper coins. He had money to pay for it. Lashka, is that you? Recognizing in that little man his former wood chopper. How are you? And what are you doing? How is everything with you? So now, Sirji was surprised to see. He said, "Lashkov, is that you? I'm not believing my eyes." And he is remembering his old wood chopper, whom he employed in his house. He said, "How are you? What are you doing? Is everything going fine? Like a normal meeting?" He was asking. All right, I'm a notary now, doing some copying work, and I'm paid thirty-five rubles a month. So now he said, "Yes, I am doing the job of a notary, and thirty-five rubles a month I am earning." So now at that moment, you can imagine the type of feeling Sirji has in his mind, because earlier he thought that of course he has done a good job in order to set this person on the right track, and moreover he has done a good job for somebody that he has done something good for someone. But what was that? That changed Sergey's opinion about himself. It was he. Lashkov told him that it was not. It was not actually he. It means it was not actually Sergey who has changed his life. Somebody else. So see who has changed. Thank heavens. That's fine. I'm delighted. Delighted means happy. I'm delighted for your sake. I'm very very glad, Lashkov. You see, you are my godson in a sense. I gave you a push along the right path, and you know, do you remember what a roasting? Roasting here is scolding. I gave you what a roasting. Roasting means scolding. So what he thought? He thought that it was only the result of his scolding that he has given him. That that his words he paid a heed to his uh, words, or his words had a mark upon his mind. And ultimately, it is just because of this reason that he has changed himself. He said, "Really, I tried to set you on the right path, and thank God that you have listened to my words, to my scolding. I nearly had you sinking into the ground at my feet that day." He said, "On that day, I remember that you were almost sinking, means getting down to my feet, on into the ground. Thank you, old man, for not forgetting my words." Now he said, "Thanks a lot." That you have not forgotten my words. Thank you too, Lashkov said. Thank you too. If I hadn't come to you, then I might still have been calling myself a teacher or a student to this day. Yes, by flying to your protection. Phrase it is used here. Flying to your protection means by coming to your protection. By flying to your protection, I dragged myself out of a pit. Yes. He said, "Really, I am also thankful to you, because if I hadn't met you, I might have been calling myself that teacher, school teacher, or a college student, making excuses on the road." 
but he said if i had not come to your protection i with means i might have been in a pit now it is only with your help i have come out of that pit i am very glad indeed so he said i am really very happy for you thank you for your kind words and deeds i am very grateful to you and to your cook god bless that good and noble woman you spoke finally then and i shall be indebted to you indebted means i'm really thankful to you to my dying day to my dying day means during my those difficult days when i was on the verge of dying without food and all but strictly speaking it was your cook olga who saved me she said really i am of course very thankful to you for the kind of you can say kind of you can say generosity you have shown me of course it was your great words that have left a deep impression on my mind you really helped me during my difficult days you have provided me some you can say some money so that i can come out of my you can say poor condition miserable condition but he said if i talk about reality it was not you who has changed my life but it was your cook olga who is of course a noble woman who really saved me Sergey, when he thought that Olga, he was surprised. He said, "Olga, how is that?" Now he explains. When I used to come to your house to chop wood, she used to begin, "Oh, you sort, sort is again. You can say, uh, you can say remark, okay, to this person who is a habitual drunkard. Okay, so what is sort? Sort is a habitual drunkard." a habitual drunkard so who is sort sort is a habitual drunkard so he said what he said he said on that day she was calling me oh you sort oh you miserable creature there is nothing for you but you she was passing these kind of remarks on looking at his poor condition that there in this entire world there is no place for you you are definitely going to be ruined to be spoiled you are good for nothing and then she would sit down opposite me grow sad look into my face and weep and then what she would do she said he said that on that day she sat in front of me looking in my eyes turning sad and upon looking at my condition and started weeping oh you unlucky man there is no pleasure for you in this world and there will be none in the world to come means you will not enjoy any happiness even in this world and of course you won't get any kind of happiness in the future time to come because you are not putting any hard work and out of it nothing will come to you you are really a drunkard you are a drunkard you will burn in hell oh you unhappy one and so she would carry on you know in that strain and in this manner she keep on passing these kind of you can say these kind of you can say insulting remarks showing him the reality of his condition that he is really of course good for nothing and he would definitely suffer i can't tell you how much misery she suffered how many tears she shed for my sake he said i but really i can't tell you that how much sad she felt for me okay and how much you can say she shed tears for me this really changed him she he thought that if that woman would feel so bad for me how can i how should i feel so for that reason he thought that yes of course there must be change in myself so i used to and she she used to chop wood for me yes on that day who chopped wood for him it was olga when she came to tell when she came to tell that the wood has been chopped to sergi it was not the uh, this wood cutter it was not sergi who has cut the wood but of course it was olga so that he could get even a small amount of money to to improve his condition do you know sir that i did not chop one single stick of wood for you yes he has told now the reality on that day he said even i haven't chopped even a single piece of wood for you and she did it all so why this saved me 
why I changed, why I stopped drinking at the sight of her, I cannot explain. No, he said, it was only she who has changed me. And why her words changed me? He said, I don't know. But her words have deep impact upon me. And whenever I think of her, I could, I could not help myself to drink. Means I stopped drinking when her sight come to me. I only know that owing to her words and noble deeds, a change took place in my heart. So finally, he said, it was only just because of her good deeds. The good things that she has done with me, there was a change in my heart. She set me right and I shall never forget it. So finally, what he said, he said that it was only she, that your cook, Olga, who has set me on the right track. And he said, I will never forget this, for she is responsible for changing my entire life. However, it is time to go now, sir. There goes the bell. Lashkov bowed and departed to the gallery. So finally, bell rang and he said, sir, it's time to go. And finally, this departed. So, so finally, what you have come to know is that it was not, you can say, Sir G, who has changed Olga's life. Who was she who is responsible for changing his life? It was his cook, Olga who has shed a lot of tears for him. And she was feeling so bad for her that on that day what happened that he remembered that day when she was just sitting opposite to him. She was shedding a lot of tears for her. And ultimately what happened, she was just feeling bad for that man. She has lost every kind of, you can say, uh, insulting remarks. She was scolding him actually telling him that he's good for nothing. Nothing good can ever happen to him. And those words really had impact upon him. Okay. So what happened? That he was a changed man. So finally, this story, what it depicts is that, that it is depicting the change of a man from a beggar to a respectable man. You can just imagine that in these four pages, how the life of a man changed. Okay, stories just of four to five pages and see the drastic change. In the starting, he was a beggar, making excuses. And now by the time he has come to the end, he is as reputed or he is earning as, uh, he is doing as respectable job as that of Sergi. And they are now, see the contrast in the situation of Sergi and Lashkov in the start, that one was the beggar and the another was like a reputed man. And see the contrast and similarity that has brought by situation in the end. That they both were standing at the same ticket window to watch the show. Right? So, of course, you can say that it is, of course, the deeds of a man that really make him a reputed and respectable one. It is by one's good hard work, one can change one's situation. But the thing is that one should be, one should have willingness to work. And... Human beings, they always try to take the credit. Like Sergi was trying to take the credit of changing Rashkov's life. But it is not actually your good deeds that is changing somebody's life. Sometimes a bit of scolding, sometimes to make the person realize the actuality of the situation. That yes, he is actually doing wrong with himself. Can also make the person aware of the wrong acts that he is doing to himself. And this is what has happened in this story that Olga was finally responsible to bring a change in his life. So that's all about this story. And tomorrow we will discuss the question answers. Is it fine? And now any doubt to any student, you can ask me. Yes, any doubt to any student, ask me.